Fans around the world react to the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar after, quote, one of the best finals in the history of the tournament. Western journalists are under fire once again after racist remarks over the Qatari bisht worn by Messi. The GOAT and now World Cup winner says no to his previously announced retirement. And finally, that's the end of the road. Qatar hands over World Cup hosting duties to the next hosts. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Fans around the world have been rejoicing after witnessing one of the greatest World Cup finals in history on Sunday night, with Lionel Messi in Argentina lifting the trophy after beating France on penalties. Since the start of the tournament on November 20th, supporters and viewers of the beautiful game have been wowed by shock after shock at the World Cup, from Japan trumping both Spain and Germany to Morocco's surprise run to the semi-finals, drama in the final and so much more. The 2022 World Cup in Qatar has been officially labeled by FIFA as the best World Cup ever. Despite the positive finale, Western media has once again caught headlines for the wrong reasons. Journalists from top outlets including the BBC and ESPN have been slammed for blatant racism. This time, it came as Lionel Messi lifted the famous trophy while wearing a Qatari bisht that was gifted to him by the Emir himself. A bisht is worn by men in Qatar at special occasions. However, several journalists labeled the move as disrespectful, bizarre and overshadowing the day Messi had been waiting for. Thousands of users on Twitter have weighed in from around the world, calling out the latest incident of racism targeting the first Arab World Cup. Now, Lionel Messi might have reached the pinnacle of international football, but there's no end in sight for the newly crowned world champion. Speaking to reporters after winning the World Cup, Messi backtracked on comments previously made of the World Cup final being his last game for Argentina. And finally, a diplomatic delegation from the next three combined hosts of the 2026 FIFA World Cup, the US, Canada and Mexico, were in Qatar on Sunday for a handover ceremony ahead of the World Cup final. Qatar officially handed hosting duties for for the World Cup to the three host nations, ending 12 years of association with the showpiece event. The 2026 tournament will be the first edition of the tournament to have 48 teams and is set to take place across 16 cities. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.